Hi everyone, today I'm going to do a coral, summer coral makeup tutorial. This is something, the title is You Chose My Makeup, which is not strictly true because it wasn't, I didn't announce it on YouTube, it was on Instagram Live. And I showed in my studio two batches of makeup. So one, um, lots of products that would create more of a corally makeup look and the other products would create more of a pink raspberry look and the comments favoured the coral. So that's what it's gonna be. The palette that was chosen was this one by Urban Decay. It's called Beached and it has lots of corally shades and two bright blue shades. I think I'm gonna start with this really orangey color and then use the deeper orange and then use the blue afterwards. So I just have no idea what I'm doing. I'm just gonna wing it. So starting with the orange, it's gonna press that onto my lids because I'm not doing my base yet uh, this is um, I'm not going to worry too much about anything that drops down at this stage Primer. oops I forgot to say that I prime my skin with absolute UV SPF 50 and I've used Le Balm put a lid on it as a primer so I've got the orange shade and I'm blending that in with a brush now. So now I'm gonna use this deeper orange shade into my sockets. That actually doesn't look that much deeper, it just is more shimmery. I think that's gonna be nice along the lower lash line. Now I'm going to use this shade Blaze, which is more of a golden shade, I think. See how it goes on. Just going to blend the edges. I'm not actually going to blend underneath yet because I obviously need to do foundation and concealer and I'm not sure if I want to use pencil yet as well. So I'm just going to leave, leave underneath. I know it's a bit not kind of it's a bit rough at the moment but it'll I'll sort it out so I think that orangey color going into the gold is quite nice it's very sunsetty so I just dampened a brush and used the really bright shade called double dip and use this as a liner so this is a really beautiful metallic turquoise. I'm going to go all along the lash line. Just make sure I like this before I thicken it up. Yeah, it's good. Go right into the inner corner. Might actually add a little bit of the darker blue. So this is the shade next to it. At the outer edge. So it just transitions into a deeper shade of blue. Just do a very small wing at that edge. So I'm actually gonna use the dark blue shade again with the damp brush and scrub it through the roots of the lashes. I think I like it more than I like the orange underneath. I think I wasn't ready to commit until I saw it. So give my eyelashes a good curl, then I'm gonna put some mascara on. Start with the lower lashes so I can coat them first. So I'm just going back in with a really bright blue shade, double dip the inner corners to create more of a pop of blue there and then just cleaning up all the drop shadow underneath there's not too much actually these um, shadows are really nice and then just patching up with the cream again so for my skin I'm going to start by using a bronzing gel this is quite a deep shade but I'm going to apply it with a big brush and just put a very thin layer all over. 
Now, as you can see, I've got skin exposed on my neck and on my shoulders. So I will have to take this tinted gel right down onto my chest. So I've put a light layer of the gel just on exposed skin. And that's very, very easy to apply. It blends really easily, actually. For my skin, I am going to skip foundation. I'm going to use concealer. This is Maybelline. Slightly deeper than I would normally. Just going to see how this blends in because I'm going to use it on other areas of the face, not just underneath my eyes. And I might blend it in with a little bit of this as well. So I might mix so we get the right shade. And then just any areas that I need extra coverage. Let's see if that's going to work. Yeah, I think that's going to work, but I'm just going to add quite a lot more. <laughs> So get the coverage on and mix with the gel. I think that's working quite well. And I can go in and do any little small bits of pinpoint in a second. A bit more coverage. I want to keep it light though, so it doesn't look heavy. But obviously this doesn't provide any coverage whatsoever, the tinted gel. So mixing it with a little bit of concealer just gives you a more polished look. So now I'm just going back in with concealer just to cover any marks. and a touch more at the inner corner of my eyes. Now I'm just gonna set with powder underneath my eyes and my forehead. So I've left all of this area at the side of my face unpowdered because the products that you guys chose included a liquid blush so it's the cushion blush this is a peachy tone just going to use it with the foundation brush to apply and then i'm going to use the brush that had the bronzing gel on not that there's anything left on it there isn't really but it'll just help to blend it all in so there weren't any brow products in the selection, so I'm just using a brow powder just to fill in my brows. So next thing I'm going to apply are these individual lashes, and these were just some that I wanted to try. It's a brand I haven't used before called Swede, and um, they do some really lovely lashes. These are the individuals. This is the shortest length they make in the kit, but this is the right length for me. I don't really want to go any longer. And they're actually quite long on me. I'm going to put four or five on each eye. So lashes are on. I might put some more mascara over the top of them once they're settled in. I'm just going to put more powder on my T-zone just because it's really hot in here, I feel. Ooh. Having such nice weather here at the moment. Right, the next thing that was in the group of products was this Clarins bronzer, which seems to be half matte and half shiny. So I'm going to use the matte side to start with. It's really good actually because the, the products, the two sets of products that you chose from were chosen by um, someone who's interning here at the moment. So it was really good that I didn't choose them because there were things that, I don't know, I might have got into my comfort zone and chosen products that I'm using a lot of, but when somebody else chooses the products, it just gets you out of your comfort zone and I'm trying lots of things that I maybe wouldn't have tried, which is good. So I'm just gonna use the bronze matte side. 
just gonna add a little bit more not really contouring but just a little bit more bronziness more on my neck the shiny side I might just put on the kind of cheekbones and a tiny bit over the eyes I'm going to give those eyes a final blend out as well in a minute. So on to lips and there were two lip products within this selection for this look. One is a very pale peachy shade of shiny lip gloss, was well actually glossy lipstick rather, and a bright orange powder lipstick. So I'm going to start with the glossy one and I'm going to use that on top of lip pencil. I've chosen this lip pencil because it's more brown and I think because the the shiny lipstick is quite pastely I need something more earthy underneath to go with the rest of the colours I have on my face. So I'm going to go all over. So the lip colour, I think this is melting in the heat. A really nice color. Mm, it's minty as well. Love it. So that is the look with that lip product. Ah, forgot to use one of the products that was in the selection. Prosecco Pop Highlighter by Becca. Just using it now just with fingers on top of my cheekbones. Adding a tiny bit more golden shine. I think because I've made the eyes quite a statement now I'm not going to put a lot of this on Maybe on the top lip now I'm going to blot this one so we're going to try the other lip product looks like I've given a perfect peach kiss I don't think I need to use remover I think I can just blot so this is the by Terry powder for the lips very Korean product Got a little tiny applicator which is really nice for shaping and this goes on as a powder and then becomes wet it's a really nice sensation actually just gonna go over the shape first and then I'm gonna do my sculpting feel so wet. This technology has been around for a while but it's kind of seeping more into the mainstream now. Wow how amazing is this lipstick? It's unbelievable it's just so saturated it's like pure red powder on my lips. I think I did prefer this shade with this eye makeup just you know for like an everyday summer look but this is so full-on and amazing I think this is a really beautiful kind of it's just upped the ante and made it much more nighttime so that's the finished look I really enjoyed trying all these different products and I'm so grateful to you if you were one of the people that suggested that I tried this look with these products and to create a coral look so I hope you've enjoyed it too